Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work out our chest and our tricep muscles. Again, the program would be similar. I'm just going to jumble up the exercise a little bit. Maybe use different sets for different exercises or different training sets for different exercises. But basically we're going to keep the exercises the same so we can keep on checking our progress in terms of strength building in those exercises. So to start with, we're going to start with the greatest stretch five repetitions on each side the usual without any fail we have to ensure we get our dynamic stretching in to ensure the entire body is ready for the exercise we are mobile our joints are good to go you may also add a five minute cardio session if you would like to get your heartbeat up if that is something which you prefer to do before starting off with your lifting but nothing more than five minutes is required you can do longer sessions of cardio post your workout obviously then I move on to my deep squat, the mandatory deep squat for the day, regardless of which body part we are working with. We have to ensure that we sit in a deep squat at least once in a day. I prefer to do that before my workouts. So it is easy to keep track of it. It's easy to make sure that I get it there, get it done, instead of doing it at any other point of time in the day. Post completing my deep squat, I move on to my first exercise, which is basically the inclined bench press. Now we are going to stick to the similar format where we are going to do three sets of these 15 repetitions in the first set wherein we are going to take a good challenging weight where we can achieve those 15 repetitions and go as low as possible in terms of the rep. As you can see I lower it down in a controlled manner and then I push it up a little bit faster maintaining a tempo of about 2 to two is to 3 seconds basically 3 seconds of coming down 2 seconds of pushing it back up. You don't have to be exact but that is the idea basically. Make sure your elbows are a little bit tucked in, not flaring out, not beside your shoulders. You should be able to see your shoulder from beside. And at the same time, you want to get the dumbbells close up, get the complete uh, benefit of adduction, which is the main responsibility of your chest muscles. So here you can see, I try to control the weight as much as possible. For six and six repetition sets, we go as heavy as possible. Take 45 to 60 seconds, ample amount of break, because when you're lifting heavy, you want to regain your strength properly. If you require all, and if you have a partner, good, go as heavy as possible and use uh, someone to spot you so that you can push yourself really hard. Post completing my inclined bench setup, I immediately shifted myself into a regular flat bench. So initially we used to start with flat and then switch to incline. This time I just, uh, you know, jumbled the order a little bit. So in the flat, again, the same format, three sets. Start with 15 repetitions, go as low as possible in a controlled manner. You might be stronger in incline a little bit or you might be stronger in flat bench a little bit. So accordingly decide the weight. Sometimes you might be stronger in a one particular exercise, but by the time you go to the second exercise, you might be a little bit more confident with the weights in terms of control because it kind of established the mind-muscle connection. So you could be able to lift a little bit heavier. So always keep that in mind in terms of judging the weight which you are able to control. Confidence is one thing which will be able to help you in pushing a lot more weight than possible. After completing my chest exercises, I immediately shifted to a tricep workout wherein I started with incline bench tricep extensions. It's a very simple exercise. Set yourself on an incline bench, take a barbell, push the barbell as far behind as possible so that you don't you are not you shouldn't be able to seal the barbell the entire uh, phase of the workout so just keep it behind your head and start doing your tricep extensions so push it as high up in the air as possible and then slowly bring it back up remember the main objective or the main cue point here is to control the weight you don't want to just swing the weight around you want to control it keep it always under the control of your muscle which you're working on this would put a lot more tension on the muscle and you would be able to achieve a lot more in terms of progressive damage to the muscle which basically means that your muscle gets a good amount of fatigue and it can build stronger a lot more quickly or there will be a lot more blood flowing into the muscle and you'll get an excellent pump. The sets again three sets 15 repetitions plus pause repetitions wherein we add into another 20 repetitions in intervals of 555. Now for my next exercise again we move on to the chest muscle wherein I start off with cable crossovers three sets 20 repetitions each go slow Keep the cables always in line with your elbows. 
I prefer doing the mid-level cable crossover. So this is where I find maximum amount of adduction happening in my chest muscles. So I prefer doing it at this level. You might prefer keeping the cable a little bit higher than your shoulders. Some people like to do that. It's absolutely fine. Always go with the uh, cable angle in which you feel that you're getting maximum amount of squeeze or the adduction in your chest muscles. But the one thing to keep in line is that the cable stays in line with your elbows because if the cable goes way above your elbow, way below your elbow, there's a lot of shoulder involvement, tricep action, which is not preferable. It's, it's a learning curve. So I try to keep it as strict as possible in terms of my posture. And from there, push it. And also try to control the eccentric motion wherein you go back as slow as possible and control the weight going down. The next exercise, we go back to tricep workout again, wherein we start, we do a superset, cable French press and push downs with the cable. So we start off with the French press, 20 repetitions. And as soon as we are done with it, immediately switch into the push down version. Uh, there's one thing while shooting the video, I did not notice myself that I set up the camera really close. So during the push downs, you wouldn't be able to see my wrist action. Apologies on that. But otherwise, we have done this particular exercise previously. Also, you just have to make sure you get a complete tricep extension. The reason why I like this way of workout is because it puts my tricep at a stretched position. And from here, when I have to push my tricep, it's a lot more work. And I also feel a lot more growth and pump is achieved when I work my muscles in a stretched uh, position or from a stretched position. So as you can see, once done with the 20 repetitions of French press, I immediately switch the cable up and start off with my cable push downs. A very easy setup, very short time consuming setup. Yes, you might be required to take a longer break because if the tricep fatigue hits, it hits really hard. And thanks to the tricep and chest workout we already have done in the last two exercises or three exercises, you might hit fatigue quickly. So keep the weight in controlled manner or in a controlled level wherein you are able to achieve those 20 repetitions. If you fall short, accordingly change the weight for your next two sets. So first set can always be that experimental set wherein you can establish your weight strength. Now here, as I, as I mentioned, you're not able to see my wrist, but make sure you get as much tricep extension as possible. It was an excellent way for me to get the maximum pump out of my triceps. So for my next uh, exercise, I'm going to do the decline bench press. Yes, this is a cumbersome setup because my gym does not have a decline bench. So I just put a step up box under the bench to give me a little bit of decline height. And from there, I started doing my decline press with dumbbells. I prefer to do with dumbbells and in, in, I generally feel I have a lot more control in terms of, you know, not involving my shoulders in the press. So three sets, 20 repetitions. If you prefer, you can go ahead and do it with a regular barbell if you have that particular setup in your gym. But I prefer to do with dumbbells. There's not much of a difference in between both of them. Post completing my decline bench press, I moved on to finish off with a close grip Smith press. So you can also do this particular exercise on a regular rack with a regular barbell. But I was so fatigued in terms of my chest and my triceps. I prefer taking out that little bit of stressor of controlling the weight. So on a Smith machine, the weight is under control. I just need to keep pushing, keep pushing as much as possible. So I've done two sets of these 15 repetitions plus again, pause repetitions of another 20 in intervals of five, taking a break of few seconds in between and doing those five, 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 five repetitions. And that's it for today. We are done with our exercising. I'm going to finish off with stretching wherein I take a lightweight PVC pipe. You can also take a BOSU ball and just stretch back on lying on the lying down on a flat bench. So this would create an abduction in your entire upper body, uh, basically stretching your chest muscles. So if you did like the video, you know what to do. Please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. It gives me a lot more motivation to keep pushing myself, keep trying to do those small changes in my workout so that it's more, uh, I would say, exciting for you to do it along. Again, if you did like the workout, please do come back for the next workout. Thank you so much. You have a good day and I hope you had a great workout. And don't forget to stretch before you close the day. Thank you.